Hi, it's Jen and welcome to my channel. On my channel, I teach about personal growth and the neuroscience behind mental health. In this video, I will explain to you why I do everything that I do. In high school, I based my self-worth on my grades and my ability to be successful. Then my dad committed suicide the summer before my senior year and everything changed. Everything felt pointless. My dad had been an extremely hard worker. He went to an Ivy League school, he got the highest score on the bar exam, and he became a lawyer. But that clearly was still not the answer for happiness. I was left with the question, what is the point? That question echoed in my head for months, and I was tirelessly searching for an answer, but I could not find a satisfying answer. I did so much investigation, and I even started to create a documentary to try to answer this question. There was not a minute that went by that I wasn't thinking about this question. What is the point? What is the point? What is the point? I drove myself into a deeper and deeper depression, obsessing over this question. I became so depressed that I had no will to live. The only reason I never considered suicide was because I could not hurt my mom any more than she had already been hurt. I was only holding on to life for love. It got to the point where I stopped asking about the point of life and just started asking, how can I feel just a little bit of happiness? All I wanted was to be okay. There was a defining moment when everything clicked back into place for me. It was the last thing I would have ever expected. I had always hated team sports. I hated the pressure of messing up and I would always stay at the back of the line when kicking and let other people budge me and just hope that I would never need to kick the ball. Well, one day in gym class, my teacher was not having it. She made it clear that everyone needed to kick. So I had to go up and kick. When kicking in kickball, you have two options. First, you can kick the ball low to the ground and someone may grab it, but you'll likely make it to first base. The second option is to kick the ball as hard as you can high in the air and someone will probably catch it, but if they don't, you may have a chance to steal a few bases. I chose the latter and I made a home run. <laughs> as I ran, I felt the pleasant warm air hit my skin. I felt joy. It was the first thing I felt even close to joy in a month and a half, which was since my dad had died. I realized that it's still possible to feel joy in the face of pain. I have not felt that level of depression or despair again since that day in 2011 because I learned that joy is accessible even in the darkest of times. There are three things I learned through this transformation. Firstly, there is a pure blue sky above the clouds. The blue sky is joy and the clouds are any negative thing going on in the world. The joy is still there but you have to choose to pay attention to that instead of the pain. Meditate on the blue sky above the clouds. Two, live the life that you wanna live and not the life others expect of you. This is the number one regret of the dying. I always thought that achieving was the thing to do. It would show others that you're smart and you would get congratulated and respect. After losing my dad, I lost all desire for that. I still got straight A's that year in school, but that can no longer satisfy me. All I wanted was to be happy and success for the sake of success could no longer do it for me. I learned that what makes me happy is the smallest things like good weather. When I gained the strength, I learned that what makes me happiest is actually been trying to teach other people how to be happy. Thirdly, I learned that neuroscience is an empowering tool for self-help. That year in school, I learned about a girl who had epilepsy. To prevent her from having seizures, her surgeons had to remove her left hemisphere, aka half of her brain. Over time, her right hemisphere was able to take over all of the functions that the left hemisphere previously controlled. This was all due to neuroplasticity, which is the fact that our brains are constantly growing and learning. I was in awe. I knew that if this girl's brain was capable of that, my brain was capable of being happy. On my channel, I have a playlist for each of these three lessons. You can find these playlists in the description below and on my channel page. I hope that if you struggle to find happiness, that these three playlists can help you. I believe that they have high potential to help you because they are based on the three lessons that I accredit to my lack of depression since 2011. I plan to make more videos around these topics, so if you would like to see more from me, please subscribe. If you like this video, please like it. And if you think anyone could be helped by this video, please share it with them. 
All right. Have a great day. Bye.